It is super simple and easy to create renders like this in Blender using projection mapping. Let me show you how. Hey, my name is Josh. I do 3D VFX. I'm gonna teach you everything I know. Before we get into the video, if you didn't know, we have a Patreon where we share all the raw, uncut tutorials sharing everything we know. So if you're interested, go check out the link in the description below. Back to the video. First, you need to find an image texture of a building. My favorite place to go is textures.com, not sponsored. Find an image of a building you like and download the free one. We're cheap. Okay, first you start off with a plane. Add a material texture, switch this over into material mode, press Ctrl T and import your image. It's all squished, we don't want that. Type the resolution of your image into the scale. Now it's really big, let's scale it back down to size. Rotate it 90 degrees and press one on your number pad. We're gonna go to edit mode and press Ctrl R. We're gonna cut out all the edges, windows, doors, etc. The more you add, the more detail you can go into. Once you do that, select all your windows, press E, extrude inwards, and now you're just going to do this with everything else. I selected all my window frames and I'm going to bring them back in to add some detail and depth. So if you want to move some edges, but it's stretching your texture, go to the top right, select options, click connect base attributes. Now you should be able to drag your corners and it not stretch the texture. We want some windows. So what I'm going to do is select all the windows, right click, select separate by selection. This will separate the windows from my walls. Go to your shader editor and select the number two. What this does is just separates the two materials. So our windows do not affect our walls. Add a mix shader and for now, just leave the BSDF. Grab a transparent BSDF, connect that to the bottom, go into render mode to see what it looks like. We have some windows. Now we can see through our windows, but we have no interior. Let's create a really easy, quick interior. Go to Google, search interior. Let's find something that matches our building. This is good enough. Back in our blender scene, spawn on a cube, Delete the front face, add a material, control T and select your image. Our image is sideways. So what we're going to do is go to the UV editor, flip it to the side so it matches our scene. Now grab all the vertices and start dragging to the corners of your room. We want it to match the perspective of our image. Now scale the cube so it doesn't look stretched. Let's scale it to our building. Over in the shader editor, we want to drag the color into the mission. Now we've got a really quick, easy interior. Let's fix up some of these windows. They don't have any reflections. So let's add in a glossy BSDF and connect our image to the color. We'll just drag our mix shader slider on how much we want to see through. Make sure you bevel your edges. If you have a complex shape like this, press K, which brings out our knife tool. And what we can do is just outline your shape, select it and extrude. I don't like this side of the building, so I'm going to delete this and replace it with the other side. I'll hide it with a pillar. Our building's looking kind of bland. It's not really acting to the light. So we want to select our building, go to the shader editor and drag the color into the roughness and into a bump node. Connect that to the normal. That's a little too much. I'm going to bring down the scale and press invert. When I was blocking out my scene, I saw some stretched textures. We don't want that, so let's fix it. Let's go to our material view and select all the stretched faces. Select them all in the UV editor, press U and Q project. Stretch and scale until it matches your scene. I went ahead, added a grass, ground, and some plants. Did some weight painting so I could choose where I wanted my plants to grow. Added some mega scans, animated the camera, and there we go. After some time of tweaking, this is what I created. It was a super fun process, super easy. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave some comments and suggestions of what you might like to see next. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you later.